Hey Taurus, how we doing? Let me give you a reading. I did uh, shuffle your deck out a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm feeling like a uh, there was a Bad Boys by Shine. That's the song I got for you, Bad Boys by Shine. It's a very Jamaican vibe to it. Yeah, I seen this dude. He keeps coming up. Fire sign energy, Taurus. And somebody here is changing the game. You're a leader. You're very confident, strong, honey, and you're good looking. King Wall's a good looking dude now. If I got kids too. Maybe married or in some type of serious commitment. The King of Wands usually is. But something's changing with you. Death card. Either that or I'm talking about somebody who is no longer with us. We'll see. I don't know if there was a parent that was a fire sign. I'm not sure. But we'll, we'll figure it out together. All right. It was very... Um, if you know what song I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the Cops Bad Boys song. I'm talking about the Shine Bad Boys version of it. It's very Jamaican-y, Caribbean uh, islands. Um, they also gave me, uh, I got the magic stick. I know if I can hit once, I can hit twice. I'm something, something, the baddest bitch. The magician, yeah. Something about control. Something about control, resources. I got everything it takes. You a bulldozer. I mean, you are a strong and when you get focused, boy, you got all the talent, skill, resources. I was born to do this. What right? I came ready. Yeah. The magician with the two of pentacles. Something about what whatever you focus on. You've got, uh, I know if I can hit once, I can hit twice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the world. That was real heavy in the pre-shuffle. The world and the death card it was real, real heavy. Uh, it's almost like changing the game. I don't know what you're doing, but, um... And I'm not hip to what's going on in the streets. So let me make that clear. Because if I'm talking to a dude that is in the streets, it kind of feels like I am. Or I'm talking to a female. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. If I'm talking to somebody who's of the streets, you're of the street life. Based on the two songs I got. You're extremely talented. You know what you're doing. You've been doing it a while. You're extremely gifted in this area of expertise. Very focused there. I do see a brand new cycle coming in for you in the future. You put all your focus on it. Of course it was going to it was going to birth out because all your focus and talents have went here. You're extremely I mean for whatever that's worth to you. It's something to do with money, absolutely. Uh, like I love what I do you know what I mean I'm not for sure what we're talking about yet but this is my favorite deck for you not for you for every reading I use my favorite deck I just get more off this deck me and this deck see the way our bank account is set up <laughs> ah hell honey damn oh honey oh my god that hurts. Mm, that's a gut punch for me. Even as a reader, this is a gut punch for your girl. Taurus. Oh, child. Wow. Talk about insecurities. Holy crap. Uh, honey. This is like somebody who may have walked in on their spouse, you know what I mean, having sex with somebody else. Like, this is a third-party heartbreak to the 10th power. This is like uh, catching somebody in the act energy. Third-party betrayal on top of the 10 of swords. And if this isn't like sexual, this is being betrayed. But being betrayed to somebody who is the closest to us. 
Now I got a straight savage out here. That's what this is. This energy, the Three of Swords, which is already an awful color by itself, it's awful. This already hurts and takes a long time for people to repair off of. But then if I couple it with the Ten of Swords with it, see, now I got a straight savage. And on a magician, huh? So now it's like it's my turn to be in control. See, I already got, somebody out here already got effed. But see, I didn't get effed just one time. This is somebody who's got effed repeatedly. I got effed repeatedly. All I know is getting effed by the closest ones to me. That's the energy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely, could be talking to somebody of the streets. See, the issue is, if you're, I'm from the 80s, right, where we had normal drugs. <clears throat> we had normal drugs in my era. We had normal drugs. The, the, the energy, though, see what I'm saying? I don't know the new scale of drugs y'all deal with. Y'all deal with weird shit that they don't even really have tests for. You know what I mean? Like, or they're just coming from, yeah, yeah, man, the higher point. All right, yeah, they, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, somebody's, oh, Lord. I say, oh, Lord, and there's God, Hierophant. Um, this is, this is hard. This is a parent that let us down. This is a parent that let us down. Yeah. This is a parent that broke our heart that, you know what I mean? All I know, all my life I had to fight. All I know is being let down and betrayed and hurt, even from my parents. See? You couldn't trust nobody because every time you did, you got effed. And it's made you a savage out in these streets. The only person you do trust is God. So I guess that's why you're here with me. Come on, girl. Come on, babies. Uh -huh. You're a younger individual. See, I always know when I'm talking to somebody younger because I got two cats, right? And I got one that's 10 and one that's uh, two. <sighs> Taurus. Tours, tours, tours. Is somebody here a football player or uh, sports or something? 23 could be your number. I'm seeing it too many times. That's why I'm, I'm asking you. I got 10 and 3 with the magician. And now I'm seeing God in the 2. Or is your number somebody you got a jersey? Something about a jersey number of 23. Either that or you did a bid. I don't know. But listen, this is... Um, even, uh, here's what I will tell you, there was even a, every time I had a guardian, even guardians F me to the third degree. It's made somebody a straight savage. To the point where all I can trust is God. And usually that will, that will uh, turn somebody to me where they gonna look for a message. I'm real focused on your message. I'm focused on you at the moment. Yeah. But you're focused on me very... If you're watching my reading, the way you're looking at me is um, aggressive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Uh, are you from... Is that very Baltimore vibe? D.C.? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Flipped on that one, huh? Again with the well with the ten and the three. What's up with twenty three, yo? <laughs> mm, okay. I do see a cycle here with us celebrating in the future, and it's like um, the new cycle. This is like enjoying the finer things in life, women included. Women and children, if you now have children, you know, I do see somebody here that could now be a father. You may have three kids. And I, it's like, you know, I can, uh, I'm supporting everybody. We're having a great time in the future. I think it's a blessed message because coming from where you come from, so we didn't, 
uh, birthdays was the worst days, and now we drink champagne when we Thursday type of energy. You see, I see this here. You know, uh, birthdays was the worst days, yeah. Uh, now we drink champagne when we Thursday. I see that for you. Coming off of the past into the future, I see that. And I see somebody who puts a lot of faith into God. So you do know that God works. That's what you do know. The hierophant would do. See, God works. This is also a gentleman that could um, have changed his life. He's getting more spiritual. You know, getting more spiritual. But uh, don't get it twisted now. You come off a real hard past. Especially with that sign song and uh, sign song. <laughs> Uh, shining song uh, emperor yeah this was your daddy mm. definitely daddy daddy and granddaddy daddy and mother dad guardians here emperor with hierophant definitely a guardian here that f2 you couldn't trust this person it broke your heart time and time again this was a father this was someone that was a guardian this was a very <clears throat> very rough childhood i think i'm talking to a very young person um i did feel the very masculine energy right off the bat i feel like i'm talking to a young man who is a uh, like an adult no doubt you're you're an adult but you're a younger dude um i feel like i'm talking to somebody in the streets i do uh, i think that there was a father here that given the opportunity uh there wasn't any good birthdays. Let's just put it that way. I got a straight uh, savage out here. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Yeah, this could be a father that stole from you. I mean, this betrayed you. I tried to flip on that stole energy, but... This could be a baby daddy here with a broken heart, too. You know, broke my heart. Yeah. I don't think you've seen your... If this is a father, you ain't seen your kids in a minute. No. I'm talking to a dude. Absolutely. I knew I was. It was too masculine. It's a very masculine... Two masculine songs that were over-the-top aggressive. Uh... I see somebody here, Taurus, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to tell you that you're a con control freak or anything, but you kind of are, hon. you got to have complete control over your area, you, your kid, I, this is my area, I see this is my domain. Mm-hmm, I know, girl. <laughs> uh, you're very, you're concentrating, probably concentrating on what I'm saying. Um, I do feel like to a degree you feel like uh, God's abandoned you. Like, um, have you heard from God? Because I ain't. Somebody here wants to know if this is a kid. It's like, well, that person's focused elsewhere. Their focus is elsewhere. And there could be a kid here that feels abandoned. I don't know if you have rejected this kid or I'm talking about a father figure who has rejected you. You know? Um, but that's what I see. This could be a dude with three baby moms, three kids or something. Mm -hmm. Dear, I don't know if you're just not ready to be a dad. Your ego though, I mean, you got a big ego, hon. There's something about you though, when I get down to the core of things, that you're lacking confidence to be this person that they need you to be. I, I'm gonna just cut right to the point here. Uh, this is a gentleman that did not have a stable father figure in their life. The, the father figure they did have, very controlling, uh, yeah, very controlling. You may feel like uh, the whole God thing is just a, this is somebody, a gentleman, that would say that um, 
that religion and God see it's all just a constructed thing to keep people in control it was started in the 19th century to keep people with taxes and keep them in control this is another person who would say that I see that here this is somebody who would say see the whole God concept it was just constructed to keep people paying taxes and to keep people in line so they wouldn't be bugging out. This is that type of dude that would say that because see, he don't have strong faith because there's something going on with his masculine energy here. He has no confidence in masculine energy or the father, the son or the Holy Spirit. There's something wrong there with your Trinity. And I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. Why are, you, why are you looking at me then? Turn, turn me off. I don't care. Go ahead and turn me off. Don't make I mean, you came here to me. So obviously you you know that something is, uh, somebody's told you something that you wanted to come here and see what I was about. Now, I'm not trying to offend you, son. And I'm going to say son because I have a funny feeling that I am probably 15, if not older, 15 years older than you. And if you think I don't know a little bit about a little bit, you would be wrong. You'd be sadly mistaken. Um, I don't know about your new age stuff going on. But I can tell you there is a problem going on with a father energy in your past. And it's like, this is how I, there's something about your energy where you try to maintain control. This is, could also be a gentleman that says, the control issues I have stem from the father energy I did not get. See, my dad, this is another, this could be a dude that's like, my dad betrayed me every opportunity. He missed a lot of birthdays. There's a lot of grudges there with this dude. You felt very rejected. You do not feel confident at all. You have had challenges with God to the point where you are saying that it's nonsense. I do see that. Uh, this is somebody who would be like, God, I've worked for everything I got. I'm bringing in this new cycle. See, now we drink champagne when we Thursday because of me. I am God. Well, honey. Mm -hmm. But there is a part of you, Taurus, that does not feel confident, that feels rejected. And it all stems off this father figure. And it's like, well, you know, either that or this is somebody who really looks up to God now. It's like, I gotta put all my faith in God. It's a lot of father energy. There's definitely a father that rejected a child. Now, either that he rejected you or you're rejecting a current child. You tell me, but there's a father's rejection here. Absolutely. It ain't God, because God's in the upright. But there's definitely a father figure here that's rejected someone. Yeah, clicked on that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're almost at a 57, but not quite. There's a cycle coming up. And uh, we're partying a lot, and there's a lot of friends around us, a lot of family, a lot. Uh, this is like a lot of partying, hon, where there's a lot of friends, a lot of women, a lot of drinking, a lot of partying. And there's all these options and choices around us as far as people, where we go, what we do. A lot of it, a lot, a lot, a lot of partying, a lot. And this kind of feels like a message from God, really, like on as what you need to be rejecting, what's not in your best interest, babe. It ain't. There's something about your focus and where it needs to be to bring in this new cycle. You, for whatever it, for whatever it's worth, you have a lot of potential, hon. A lot. 10, 10. I mean, you got a lot of potential. Like, there's a, I can change the game energy with you. Um, unfortunately.
unfortunately, with the emperor, and, I, and if you watch any of my read, readings, anybody that's been with me for a minute, okay, anytime I talk about an emperor or an empress, watch any of my readings, okay? Anytime I pull an emperor, you bet your ass he came off this kind of energy, which is the ten of swords and three of swords. The betrayal was out of this world. Your stories cannot be matched up against anybody else's stories. This is somebody that if they was to tell their story, see, your story would always out trump anybody's in the room. That's why you've got the emperor status that you have. And this goes for empresses as well. But what I will tell you when I read cards, baby, this card, the Ten of Swords, and the, especially the Ten, the ultimate betrayal kind of stuff, it's always precedes my emperor or my empress. And that's in any reading you watch me. Watch of mine, excuse me. Any reading. This always precedes an emperor or an empress. This is what makes you. And if you, in the Bible, it was the same way with Jesus. Baby, they treated Jesus like this. Jesus was the ultimate ma magician. This is a man that could turn water into wine, could separate the sea. What do you think, Dad? We're going to do it to you. You're very focused right now on, this is somebody who could be very focused on a parent who may have rejected them at some point, you know? Uh, this could be a gentleman here that just doesn't have a lot of confidence. They don't. I do see a cycle coming up for you. There's a lot of ego in it though. I do feel uh, two different dudes here. One of them was absolutely rejected. Did not have uh, doesn't have money like that either and has a loss of ego because of it. Has uh, lost ego, uh, not ego, but lost, uh, ego is not the right word, lost their confidence because of the lack of wealth. And, and they kind of have to put all their faith in God. Uh, you know, I do see a cycle coming up for you though where it's a lot of dinging glasses. The options are endless. It's a lot of partying. Whew. It's a celebration. What I'm seeing is a reunion. I don't know if this is with a, a parent that may have, you know, not been so good to you or something, or I'm not sure. very focused and whatever you focus on you can bring into fruition without a doubt but it's definitely come with its share of failures this is somebody who has more failures than they care to remember but honey it's made you the emperor emperors always gonna have a lot of this you're a divine being you're a divine being you're very focused very focused on God you know that there's rejection you know that things won't always line up but in the future, you've got to have enough faith. Somebody here does have faith that things are going to work out. They're going to work out. Things are going to work out. Don't worry, things are going to work out. getting a cat's in a cradle in a silver spoon little boy blue what is that about when you're coming home so i don't know when we'll get together then silver spoon what's up with that you know we'll have a good time then the cat's in the cradle in the silver spoon little boy blue and the man on the moon Yeah, you've managed to persevere these uh, harder days. Uh -huh. 
something here with mysticism. I guess you're watching me. Yeah, you're real focused on um, God and uh, spiritualism here lately. You persevered and you've you may have had some type of um, encounter that you may not talk about with other people, but something happened. I'm, I'm going to say that. Uh, I don't know if it was signs, symbols, you saw a real ghost, but something here has renewed our faith where we were down and out. Things were not going in our favor at all. We also lost our confidence to the point where all I could really do was look to God and persevere this way. Um, it's something to do, I don't know, did you have an encounter with a ghost or something? You had an encounter with a mystical being, an archangel or something? Perfect, yes, you did. Perfection and balance, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you had some type of spiritual encounter with a real, a real one. With one of the uh, day walker, you had a, you had a, did you talk to uh, a mystical person? You talked to a ghost or something? I think you did. This was a perfect human being. And somebody told you that everything was going to be okay. They did. Perfection and balance. They told you it was all going to work out. It was all going to be okay. And whatever, it, whatever this did for you, it renewed your faith. It breathed life right into you. It breathed life into you. Like everything's going to work out. It's all going to balance out. Especially with these three individuals here. that, And it could be more. Three to five to six people here. It's like, yes, they... They don't see what it's going to be. Everything is going to be fine. And that's what I see. I've said it before. I pulled your cards. I see, I see somebody who persevered through really, really harder days. And they renewed their faith somewhere with mysticism. You may not be of the traditional Bible. This is somebody who debates the Bible. I felt that too strong. Where you're going to say the Bible's made up. It was just to keep people in control back in the day. It was for taxes to keep people from wilding out. And that's fine. As long as you're believing in God. This is somebody here who does believe in God. And you do have faith there. I do see where your faith has always not been very strong. You were not confident in this God at all. Because of the dark days that you were under. You, you weren't. But I will tell you this. Your perseverance and faith has put you almost like... A, you, I'm not going to say almost. This is somebody, see, everything happens for a reason. And it was to test your faith, honey. All emperors and emperors get their faith tested. It's in the Bible, as much as you don't like me to refer to it. Uh, have you considered my servant, servant Job? All emperors and empresses go through these tests to see it's a test on your faith. And every time something bad happens to you, you get rewarded tenfold, okay? Now, for those of you who don't know, I, I, I count, I read. Now, when I say tenfold, I've got the seven of cups and the three of cups. And if you add, seven plus three is what? Thank you, tenfold. And that's love. Cups are always love, honey. And then you got the world card on top of it. It gets returned to you tenfold with all these options, people, people dinging glasses. This is the God that you serve. See, he turned water into wine. See, things don't have to look like they're everything right now. But you keep persevering. You keep your head north. Okay, you keep persevering. You keep your head north. You see where his head is with the perseverance? This is somebody who don't have peripheral vision. He just keeping on. His head, his, he's got a lot on his plate, no doubt. There is time where your your confidence is shook. King of Wands reversed with the five of pence. My my pockets looking slim, man. I, I don't got a lot of confidence. See, but my my. It don't matter. I got two coins and my head's north. With the mysticism and my God card, I got to keep my head north. It's going to be returned to you tenfold. Three plus seven is what? Ten. Can you say it a little louder for the ones in the back with the world card? You're going to be just fine. See, there is a perfect being here. You're pulling on God too strong. 
that's going to bring things back into balance for you. You aren't God. You're right. You ain't. You ain't. You're far from me, honestly. If I would get real, real deep into your reading about where you was out in these streets. But I won't. I'm going to save you that embarrassment, sir. I see that you uh, have some embarrassing moments here. And I'm going to save you that, especially as an emperor and a lieutenant of the spiritual community that you don't even aware, you're not even aware that you are. I really don't believe so because I have emperor in a past position. I do not believe, and with your lack of confidence right now, because see, the way your bank account is set up, your pockets just ain't right right now. See, you don't even understand who you are yet. So I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm going to do my, myself a favor Savior, Savior, I'm going to do myself a favor right now and not disrespect uh, an emperor who uh, is a lieutenant in the spiritual community and also masculine. This is also a gentleman's. Yes, you are. There's two. There's no feminines here. The only court cards I have here are of gentlemen. I knew I was talking to a dude. I knew I was. I do think you have children. I think you have two or three. Uh, if not, these are baby mamas, you know. Don't dismiss everything out of that Bible, sir. You stubborn. Real stubborn. Good golly. This is somebody here. You are stubborn. It's really hard to change your mind. You're stubborn. My God, you're stubborn. Yeah. Because masculines uh, tend to respect money more so than what a feminine energy would. Um, and you're stubborn because, see, you only kind of believe in what you see. And what's yours is yours, and all you know is what you see. I have a very stubborn energy, four to seven. Uh, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles. It's like, what you talking about? This is what I see. What you talking about? This is what I see. Okay, then, Baltimore. Is this a Baltimore dude, a, a, a DC dude? It's a city dude. This is what I see. I see. I gotta paint. I gotta paint the roses red on this. This is a bunch of dead ass trees. I'm gonna have to paint them red. These flowers are dead. I'm gonna paint them red. Make them look. This is somebody that may have to sew, uh, sew something on the shirt to make it look brand name. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Again, with your future and the options, it's the same card. Same. The, it, yeah. Honey, yeah, okay. Mom. Uh -oh. Was this a mom that rejected you in the past? speak yet but you're real stubborn and you're looking around at like what you have now what do I got to show for what I have and that's what makes you so stubborn it's somebody who's had to work all my life I've had to fight this is somebody who's had to work for everything they currently own but at 77 there's something that's you've got something that you don't even know you have again it I, you don't even know you're an emperor I'm so <laughs> I ain't no other way to say it um Choice of when, turning down a woman, definitely turning down a woman from your past. This woman is extremely stable, you know, has a nice house. It's like I got my options now of women. I can turn these girls away now. And the pet, this is a woman from your past. Maybe several women from your past, honestly. And these women were stable. These women may have provided you a very stable place to live. Yeah. So again, seven, seven, seven. Go ahead with your bad self. 47, 47. 47, 47. Go ahead. Go ahead with your bad self. Emperor Energy always does that. 47, 47. Mm -hmm. 
So you stand, it's really, really hard for me to convince you otherwise. You are a masculine energy that you stand firm in your convictions. What you talking about, Cletus, this is what we have. See, I see, I ain't never seen no ghost. What I do know is what I see right now in front of me. You're, st you're stubborn. I cannot talk about somebody more stubborn than you. You are stubborn. They're giving me the Through the Wire song by Right There Through the Wire. 40, oh my God, yo. 47 again. Look, you don't believe me? Look, you got 47, okay? Then, right here, look at this. You're pulling it again, 74. 47, 47, 47, which is 11, 11. You're right where you're supposed to be. Okay? You're extremely stubborn, sweetheart. This is somebody who is living in the same place they've lived since they, like, you, if you was born in Baltimore, you still live in Baltimore. This is all I know. These streets are all I know. And, I mean, it, it don't matter. Like, if I go 47, 47. It doesn't matter which way I cut it. Okay, it's 47, 47, 47, 47, 74. Look, I can go this way, this way, side to side, side to side, or diagonal. It's all 47. Do you live on 47th Street? Is your is your address 47, 47? Is there, it, what's going on with you with this 47? But what, it doesn't matter how I cut it. You are very aggressive, over the top. Like, you stand firm, yo. This is somebody with their chest pump out. You gonna challenge me as a reader. This is my home. What you talking about? And you protect your home at all costs too, man. And everything in it. And you stubborn. Again with the seven, y'all. You come right off. Even in the future, you're coming off on a seven. See, these are my options. This is my old lady. But I see somebody walking away. Seven to the eight of cups. Walking away. This is a girl I walked away from from my past. And she wrote, she's stable and everything. She got the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, God. Stay on my boundaries. Yeah, see, baby, you don't even know you're a star. You don't even know. That's why I said I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be nice here. Because you, your major arcana, you are stubborn. But that's how God built you with the star card. You are stubborn. There's nobody here. You are a warrior. He built you this way to hold your ground. Yeah. You a star though. You got a lot of faith and you stand firm on your on your convictions too. There's no change in your mind. There ain't. This is yeah, I'm not gonna change your mind. I ain't gonna try to change your mind either. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you all the uh, yeah, if you young, yeah. This is a young cat, you don't even know who you are yet. I'm not trying to like say I'm so much older than you and I know more. I'm just saying you don't know who you are yet. You young, y'all. You full of piss and vinegar. You go in, uh, you good look, dude, too. You, you, you hella fine. Again, I'm talking to a dude. This is only court card I really have here. I mean, is some girl you walking away from from your past, and it, it feels like more than one. It feels like several. And I feel like these women were good to you. They had money, long money. They could have, they could put you up, you know, had nice things. Mm -hmm. Uh, Something to do with your faith here. Something to do with your faith. Knight of Wands. Star card on the Knight of Wands, huh? You're new to this. The devil. Wow. This is a gentleman that has the devil on one shoulder and God on the other. There's a song that, there's a song. Oh my goodness. A little bit in between or something. I'm a little bit, I'm one call away. I'm one call away from home. That's what I'm seeing. One call, it's a country song, kind of. I'm one, I'm one call away from home. A little bit right, a little bit wrong. 
Yeah. But there's somebody here that could feel like whatever that your convictions are, are not of the Bible. Like, oh, you don't know, they study the devil. You get what I'm saying? Like, whatever you're into, and you keep defending your beliefs. This is somebody who's obsessed with what they, honey, let me tell you something. All this knowledge you have, it ain't for everybody, okay? Uh, you are extremely attractive and you are attracting very attractive women who these women have resources but I see that your resources you save <laughs> you save your money and you're stubborn You do have a nice home and thing, but you're pretty. You you pretty wiggy, what they told me. And these girls are really pretty that are around you, and they have money. I, I saw that. I'm like, yo, what are all these girls that you're dealing with that you walking away from in your past? These women are stable. And it's like right on time. I could call it every time. Ooh, I see you here. You are the young cat. You got a little bit of something, like you might have your own your own place or what, but see, you're single. And these girls that are approaching you also, but they, I don't know if they're married or they're already in commitments, but they're they're gorgeous women. They just already they also could be single, by the way. Nine of Pentacles. They're also younger like you, but they're very commitment minded. They are trying to um, they're trying to make you settle down. And they are using their resources to make you settle down. And you're like, why would I want to do that? I got everything I need. This is somebody who has everything they need under their roof. Like, why? I don't, I don't want a relationship. Now, there's a part of you, though, with the devil. It's like, if this bra want to spend money on me, well, I mean, yeah, you, you could. Um, this is somebody who has, you're dating several women. Uh, some of these could be ex-girlfriends. They have good jobs. They make good money. And you got them lined up like, uh, you could, you got them, here they come. I got this one on uh, cue for 6 o'clock. And when I'm done that, I'm going over to this one till I said 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you. There's a part of you that is a little bit ignorant. You know, you, there's a woman here got a lot of resources. And this woman, for what it's worth, she could also be kind of toxic, too. But see, there's a bait of money. Somebody's trying to bait the other one with money. You could have any woman you want. Seven of Cups, with the, with, you could have any woman you want. But see, you don't want just any woman from your past. These women do have money. But see, it's something about you. It's like, yeah... Queen of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles, she cool and everything, you see, but I'm waiting on a big kahuna. I want a woman that's going to have a bigger check. Because somebody feels like they're, they're God's gift to the universe or something. You, you're really pretty. Don't get me wrong. You really are. You're a good-looking boy. And you attract good-looking women. Um, 